Hey guys, it's Vilma. Welcome back. So today's video is going to be my go-to lipsticks for spring and summer. Spring is nearly done and summer should be hitting within the next few days. And I haven't done a video of lipsticks that I really, really gravitate towards. So I thought it would be fun to share this with you. Now on my day-to-day -day basis, because I work in an office, in an office environment, I don't tend to wear very bright colors but during the day I really like wearing nudes and nude lipsticks is something that I wear any season so it's not only for this particular like spring and summer but I do wear it all year round so I have six here to show you which are nudes and um, pinkish but I also have bright colors so I divided this into sections I'm going to start with the nudes first and then the brighter colors after so I'm going to start with the lipstick that I'm wearing right now And if you follow me for a while, you do know that I really really love this one is by L'Oreal And it's the nudes collection and the shade that I have is JLo. It's the one I have on my lips right now, and it's Fantastic. I love this lipstick so so much. Not only I like the formula. It's very easy to apply. It's moisturizing. I don't feel like I need to um, apply lip balm throughout the day. I do it in the morning and maybe sometimes. I do it maybe midday, but this really moisturizes my lips. It makes any look that I wear look fantastic, whether I'm going for a smoky eye or I'm just wearing kind of like toned down makeup. This is one of my favorites at the moment and I really, really like it, highly recommend and I think I've said it several times in my videos. The next one is by Rimmel and this is the Cake Moss line. It's in 03, this one doesn't have a name, it's only a number, but it's definitely one of my most used nude lipsticks. Now this one in particular is a how we would say here, a proper nude lipstick from my skin tone. It's perfect. I've used it so much, I'm nearly at the end. Um, it goes with everything I wear, um, obviously makeup wise. It just is a fantastic formula and I really like this line. I have also some red lipsticks from the Kate Moss line and I would highly recommend because they're very affordable and they just look fantastic. And if you're an NC30-ish like me, you will absolutely love this. The next one I have here is by Revlon and this one is called Primrose. And this lipstick for me was love at first sight. It's a kind of like a pinkish nude lipstick. It's like borderline pinkish, but not really. And I think it would suit so many different skin tones, but I love it. It's just one of those lipsticks that it's, I find it kind of like romantic. I love the name. I love the shade. I love how it looks on my lips. And it's just fantastic. I find it very difficult to uh, describe a lipstick but I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say it's just so pretty and it's one of those that it's my lips but better just like the JLo lipstick which I find as well it's like my lips but better this one is also going down that road and I really really like it I actually find that they're quite similar but um, I fell in love with the JLo one I haven't put it down but this one is definitely one of my favorites Next I have Pink Pout by Revlon and this was a very hyped up lipstick in the blogger world and also YouTube. I think Nicki Minaj had a similar uh, lipstick that came out with MAC Cosmetics, something like that. Um, and this one was very similar to that one and a lot of people loved it. So do I, fantastic, it's matte, um, but it's not like that matte drying type of finish lipstick, it's still not moisturizing but it's quite comfortable to wear and it's also on the nudie side if that makes any sense nudie i don't even know why i said that word but i really like this lipstick um like i said it's it's matte but it's still comfortable to wear it goes with most of the looks that i wear when it comes to like smoky eyes or just tone it down on my makeup and sometimes i wear it underneath a lip gloss so i'll just wear a little bit of lip gloss right in the center of my mouth just to pop it up a little bit more but I really really like this one um, I haven't worn it for a while I think maybe for a couple of months or so but I'm definitely going to start wearing it now because it's very pinkish and I find it's perfect and very very wearable for spring and summer and my last nude lipstick is also by L'Oreal and it's called Eva's by Eva Longoria and this one is a lot warmer than the JLo shade but it's still the same formula it's still very very wearable with any makeup look anything that you're wearing even clothing wise this will look 
fantastic. If you are like a Nancy 40-ish, this will look like a perfect nude for you. It's a lot warmer, but I still love it and I wear it a lot. This is like a really nice formula type of lipstick. You don't have to put balm throughout the day or you don't have to apply as often and it lasts really well. So this is another lipstick that I would highly recommend. Now moving on to the lipsticks that I would wear, especially in the evening. If I was going out for dinner, a party or a movie or something like that, I would only wear these ones for dinner. So I'm going to start with a NYX lipstick. This one is called Sparkling Nude. And it's very difficult to describe this lipstick. It looks like it has glitter, but when you apply it on, it just looks like a foiled lipstick, if that makes any sense. It's very shiny and sparkly, but it's also very comfortable to wear. And I would wear this one mostly if I had very simple uh, nude kind of like makeup going on, maybe just eyeliner and um, mascara, tons of mascara, because this lipstick really stands out. It's a fantastic formula, very nicely uh, wearable throughout the evening, and it also lasts a really, really long time. I know when I wear this, I do get a lot of compliments and questions, what are you wearing? So it's NYX uh, Sparkling Nude, and I will put a link below if I still find it online available for you guys. Next, I have a Revlon lip butter, and this one is called Sorbet. Um, and it's a fuchsia kind of like pinkish lip balm with a lot of tint in it and it is so gorgeous every time I wear this I go like wow I really like this color I'm really into fuchsia lipsticks and you will find that in this video but this is also a kind of like lip balm so it moisturizes your lips it's very easy to wear you can definitely wear this throughout the day sometimes I do but not when I go to work but definitely for a night out if you want to pump up your look throughout the day you can do that definitely but I prefer to wear colors like this at night because they really stand out on my lips I have really full lips and I don't like wearing bright colors during the day when I go to work but this is perfect for night time and it lasts a really long time beautiful beautiful color next I have a Maybelline lipstick this one is called hot plum and as I said I like fuchsia lipsticks which are very bright but this one is a gorgeous 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 plum lipstick when I saw this at the store I was like would I ever wear it but the first time I put it on and I went out with my husband he was like wow that really looks nice on you and it's one of those that I could even wear with the makeup I'm wearing today which is kind of like a smoky eye but it would still go very very well with my makeup so any makeup look as long as you're not putting too much blush and stuff like that because when you start wearing lipsticks like this they are the center of attention and I really like it. I don't find that the formula is all that moisturizing. I really need to exfoliate my lips and moisturize them before, but I really like this color and yeah, it just screams spring and summer. Next I have a Rimmel lip lacquer and this one is called Apocalyptic and I've done a review on these so I'll link them below for you guys to see. From the three ones that I bought this is my favorite. Um, I actually gave the other ones away but this is once again a fuchsia color. This is so gorgeous. Definitely wearable only for me at night. As I said I have really full lips and I, I just don't feel comfortable wearing something like this when I go to work. Uh, but to go out at night, it's a perfect spring summer color, uh, very shiny as you guys can see. And um, the only thing is I need to be careful because they do smudge, like they move around a little bit. So definitely try and apply a lip primer if you have or a makeup setting spray to prevent them from moving. But I find that these ones don't last all that long, so I do need to reapply throughout the day. But not throughout the day, throughout the evening. But I still think they're fantastic and I would highly recommend. Next I have a Revlon lip stain and this one is called Lovesick. I promise this is the last plummy or fuchsia pink lip product that you guys are gonna see in this video. But I like it so much. It was my first time ever wearing this type of shade. I love the formula. I love that it stays, it stains the lips so it stays a lot longer than a normal or a regular lipstick. And it's a fantastic color. 
I really like fuchsia pink and plummy colors because they suit my skin tone but I think you anybody anybody could wear this because it's so pretty it definitely makes a statement just like this one and the apocalyptic by um, Rimmel they make a statement so I would be more comfortable wearing this at night but I would definitely wear it during the day if I was on holiday or just going out throughout the day um, maybe to meet my husband at lunch and stuff like that so a date lunch I would say but it's a beautiful color and I would highly recommend and my last lipstick is also by Revlon and it's called Siren. Siren is a beautiful statement orangey lipstick. Now I've never worn any colors such as this till I bought this one. Um, for me this was really risque if I can say that but it just looks so beautiful on the lips. It screams summer, vacation, beach towels, swimming pool, that's what this lipstick screams to me and I absolutely love it. It's definitely a statement as I said so I would wear this on holiday, going out at night. Um, it just looks so nice on the lips but I would definitely tone down my makeup when I'm wearing this because I want this to pop. I w this is the accessory of my makeup when I'm wearing it and it's such a beautiful color. I think if you're very fair to uh, deeper skin tone it would look fantastic on you especially if you're tanned it will just scream summer and I really like it highly recommend so that's it for my go-to lipsticks for spring and summer I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll speak to you guys very soon bye